it looks like we are live or at least live on Instagram and YouTube and hopefully soon Facebook will get this act together and we'll be live on there as well first off let me start out by twisting my head straight up to something I don't do often otherwise yeah, 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 yeah. look at me <laughs> okay uh, my name's Ron Alcott. I am the owner and photographer at Ron Alcott Photography. And welcome to Sunday morning. To the Ron. Uh, I want to start trying to do these on a fairly regular basis. Not necessarily every week. But at least while we're in lockdown out here in California. And I have nothing better to do on a Sunday morning. I thought I would go ahead and talk to some people. There we go. Now it looks like Facebook has joined on. If you have any comments, please feel to comment. Free to comment in Facebook or on Instagram. Or if anybody actually comes in, that would be good. Uh, we're going to wait just about two minutes here to see if anybody joins us and then we're going to go into my planned program uh, this will be posted later in my story as well as a post on my Facebook and a post on my Instagram uh, and a post on my YouTube so uh, Facebook is Wanderlust Gallery Fine Art is the link name or you can simply search Ron Alcott Photography that's the name of the page now uh, on Instagram it is it's weird sitting here staring at myself on Instagram it is what is it at Wanderlust Gallery okay. on YouTube it doesn't have a name yet just search for Ron Alcott Photography and you should be able to find that video uh, it's very, very strange looking at myself here. Um, I'm hoping somebody else joins so that I can tell whether I've got any audio because that's a bit of a a bit of a, an experiment right now. I'm using my lavalier mark here. So just another minute. Uh, you probably can't hear it because I'm using my lavalier mark, but uh, right on time just before I hit the button to start the videos. It started raining here in, in Northern California. So if you hear any background sort of hiss, we're going to blame it on the rain on top of the patio roof here. Certainly not me. I didn't know. I know I didn't know. So, uh, one more minute back to home too. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Streets as white as snow. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Everywhere that Mary went, lamb was sure to go. That's a much more appropriate tune. And uh, some of my buddies. I have a buddy who's actually in a sea shanty band. And his major song is. Uh, what do you do with a country sailor? And that's probably not appropriate for us Sunday morning. Alright. Well, no one has joined me yet, but I'll be here for a few minutes. We'll see if anybody joins them, and if not, you all have to watch the video. Ah, ah, ah. Don't get to ask any questions, don't get to do anything special, just watch the video. So, here we go. My name's Ron, Ron Alcott, in fact. Uh, I'm the photographer and owner uh, for Ron Alcott Photography, which you can see online at ronalcottphotography.com. Just want to go live a little bit, uh, share with you uh, what I'm doing, uh, some prints, 
uh, that will be available online later today before 5 o'clock. Uh, 5 o'clock I'll be releasing all of these things. And uh, tell you a little bit about the story behind them, how they came to be, why I took the picture, uh, what I did to make it look the way it looks now. So here we go. And I'll, because these are new, I occasionally will have to reference back to a different screen. But this one I know is called Reads in a Brainage Kit. Because that's what they are. Uh, as you see, I'm it in black and white. I thought it came out really nice in a contrast like that. Um, my inspiration was that my car was getting a oil change, an oil change in Vacaville, and while it was doing that, I had to walk down to a, a uh, Starbucks. I didn't have to, I could have drunk their coffee, but Starbucks coffee was better. So I walked down to the Starbucks, and I had specifically brought my camera with me that day because I knew I was going to be walking, and uh, as I was passing over a ditch, I looked across and saw these sky leaves. So I took a picture. It's cropped down a little bit from where I originally took it. Uh, straightened it up and I increased the contrast a little bit in post production. And of course, I turned it to black and white. One of the interesting things I've found about this one is I think it may be more interesting if you put it upside down. It's actually upside down. That's the reflection on the top. Uh, that's reality on the bottom. Uh, I keep picking it up upside down and going, yeah, that's interesting. So if you buy it, you have your choice. You can hang it this way, which is right side up, with the sky on top. Or you can hang it this way, which I think is also interesting. So uh, I may do a, uh, a teaser on Facebook with this one. Huh. I'm wondering, I think I just felt it out. I did. Uh, turns out I'm sitting directly under one of the few weeks in my ears here. So, either way, leaves in a drainage ditch. Because not every title can be really clever. I've got some coming. This one is called Autumn Shore. Now, this shot was taken in Prague from the Vltava River while I was on a boat trip. Uh, off of the Vltava River in Prague, there are several little, uh, what you would call, I guess, mill ponds. Uh, there are places where uh, Looses that grab water from further upstream and bring it under the streets of Prague and it used to run these water wheels like you see over here on this side. That's a water wheel side? No, water wheels this side. Hard to see on the nice screen if I'm looking at it. So it used to run a whole bunch of water wheels and it used to be a big uh, milling and textile place. So they used water wheels to run the looms before they got electricity and steam and all those other good things you can use to run looms. They used to turn the looms with water wheels. Uh, I have a different cut of this same shot. That focus is more on the water wheel. But this one I really wanted to show. I thought it was really interesting uh, to be a tourist looking at a tourist spot and seeing other tourists looking back at the same tourist spot from the other side. So these are just two ladies that were out there uh, have managed to find this spot down side street. And uh, we're looking at the water wheel and talking to each other. I always wondered what they were talking about, but I never found them to ask them. So, oh well. Something to tell you is you know, it's raining out here. You should not have photographic prints out in the rain. These are not fine art prints. These are prints that I have printed on my home printer on just 
Staples photo paper. So uh, I'm not horribly worried about ruining them. Ruining them, they have no intrinsic value. Uh, but they're just kind of my proofs, and I wanted to show them to you physically what they look like on paper. Uh, this one is called Sierra Nevada Sunset One. Because right now I'm going to have a lot of sunsets. Many of them will be in the Sierra Nevadas. Uh, I read an interesting list the other day about a hundred things you need to know about being a photographer. Uh, and two items on the list were, I think it was number 10 was sunsets are cliche. And number 11 was everybody loves sunsets. So I specifically made a trip up to Reno, Nevada to take some sunsets and sunrises. Uh, I was going to go out on the roof of one of the garages and it turns out they put me on the 20th floor uh, of hotel, I believe it's a silver legacy. And they put me up on the 20th floor and I had a better view from there than I would have from the garage. So I had to deal a little bit with shooting through the windows and make sure I didn't get shadows. Uh, any shadow you're seeing now is from the lighting and not from the, uh, from the photo, not in the photo. Okay. But uh, this is it. It is Sunset Sierra Sunset 1. Taken in Reno, Nevada. Uh... Maybe January? Late December, early January. It wasn't Christmas time, but it was shortly after Christmas. So that's what it looks like. Um, which allows me to let you know that I will be uh, exhibiting at Hot August Nights, assuming that we have Hot August Nights, uh, which is in Reno, Nevada. It's the first week, first full week of August, like the 4th through the 9th. Uh, and I'll be in the downtown sections. There's two sections. There's one out at one of the hotels in Sparks, and there's a downtown section. And I've signed up for the downtown section. If that changes, I'll let you know. But uh, that will be an actual live in person appearance. Uh, I also have one coming up May 16th and 17th, much closer to home here at Walnut Creek, called Art on Main. Uh, fingers crossed that we let that one go on. It has not been canceled yet. There's still a good chance that it might be, so keep an eye on my Facebook page. Uh, you can check out my events on my Facebook page and uh, see what's happening with that. I've applied for several others, and a lot of people, as you can imagine, the festivals are just playing it by ear. They're just trying to figure out what's going on and what's going to happen, and nobody really knows. So, uh, if you can, reach out to people that rely on the festivals to make their money. I am lucky. I still have a day job. Uh, so, if you want to help me, I appreciate it. Uh, this is my retirement plan, so anything you can do to help out is a big deal. But... Uh, I'm okay for the moment. There are many people who are not. Support your local establishments. Uh, there is a virtual festival going on right now. If you look up Williams Limited LTD Virtual Festival on Facebook, it's a Facebook page. Uh, a lot of the vendors who would have been showing uh, at shows in, uh, in Dublin, the Dublin St. Patrick's Day, uh, the San Juan Bautista. Oh, good, there's another leak right here. Just got hit in the head. We'll have to pick a spot a little bit deeper in the patio next time. Um, but anyway, uh, people from those two shows uh, are placing posts up on there now with links to their things. So. Uh, if you like uh, candy and jewelry and clothes and art, uh, it's 
saw some real cool three-dimensional stuff, uh, guys doing uh, sort of dolphins and things like that. Um, another lady this morning, uh, handmade clothing, uh, jewelry, caramels. Uh, the first day that they posted, there were like at least four people doing beef jerky. Uh, you may have to scroll down a ways to find the beef jerky guys. I have not seen them back advertising. Uh, but you'll also see me in there uh, and a coupon for 25% off one specific gallery. The gallery that would have been my uh, fairs and festival images. The ones that I would have had in person at the store, at the festivals. Uh, and I will have in person at the festivals later this summer. Uh, I have a separate gallery for those. It's called my fair, well, uh, fairs and festivals images. Uh, and there's a coupon if you go to Williams Limited Virtual Festival. All of my ads have a coupon for that particular gallery to get 25% off. And of course, anytime you sign up for my newsletter as a new subscriber, you'll get a coupon for 20% off the entire store. So uh, I encourage you to go to RonAlcottPhotography.com, sign up for my newsletter. While you're there, you'll see that I'm also often doing monthly giveaways. Uh, this month, it's you and me, kiddo. But there's a link right at the top of the page if you go to RonAlcottPhotography.com uh, that talks about that giveaway as well as a link to a page explaining my COVID-19 response uh, fund drive. Uh, I am raising funds for directrelief.org, who are a worldwide 401c3 organization that provides medical supplies and medical equipment around in the U.S. and around the world, uh, and is working very, very hard to actually supply with real things here in uh, this age of COVID-19. So uh, I've got those two things going on, the COVID-19 relief, the uh, virtual festival, three things, and the monthly giveaway. So if you're not subscribed uh, to the newsletter yet, be sure you subscribe or go to the monthly giveaway page and subscribe. Because as long as you're on the newsletter list, when I pull it on May 1st, you will be entered in the drawing. So, I uh, wonder if anybody ever joined over here. Oh, my live video ended. wonder why that was. Well, let me go back to here. It ended as soon as it began. Well, let me go back here and restart Facebook because uh, Facebook seems to be missing. I'm glad I checked. And once we get to that, we will go to uh, we will go and look at the last few images that I have here to share with you today. Uh, once again, if you're just coming in, my name is Ron. I am Ron Alcott. I'm the owner of Ron Alcott Photography, which you can see online on RonAlcottPhotography.com. And uh, there we need to go here. Bear with me while I set this up here on that, on that, on that, on that. Let's try again to go live. Three, two, one, go again. I'm Ron Alcott from Ron Alcott Photography, ronalcottphotography.com. Uh, Facebook, it is Wanderlust Gallery Fine Art, or you can search up Ron Alcott Photography. Uh, you will find it there. And on Instagram, it's uh, Wanderlust Gallery. And on YouTube, I don't yet have 
the ability to claim my own page name because I have to get a thousand hours of views. And then this is my first live broadcast, so I don't have a thousand hours of views. So um, you can go there and you can search for model photography on YouTube and you should find me. There we go. Now it looks like I'm live on Facebook. I don't know if anybody's watching. I don't know if it will tell me if it is, if they are. So let me switch over to my other monitor. Uh, I've already showed a couple of prints today. Uh, looks like three. Uh, just to recap, this first one is called Reeds in a Drainage Ditch. Okay, very clever name. But it also makes a very interesting piece when it's hung upside down. Taken in Bacaville, California, while my car was having its oil changed. Uh, this one is from Prague, taken while I was on a boat trip uh, in the mill pond. This is an old water wheel that they used to run water down into there, and then they would run a bunch of them into a mill pond, and then that would bunch of things out of the river, and they would have to get out the mill, get out of the boat. Uh, and these are just, this is called uh, Autumn Tourists focusing on two ladies who were having an intense conversation looking at the water wheel, you know, kind of at the end of a <clears throat> dead end street for them, but they found it and they were talking. <clears throat> and then the third one that we've already seen, again, is here. This is called Sierra Sunset One, and it is uh, from Sierra Nevada. Taken from Reno, Nevada. And I was staying at the Silver Legacy. I was up on the 20th floor. And my room had a better view than any place I could get to outside. So looking carefully to shoot through the glass, I did that. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but it is raining pretty hard right now. Every once in a while I got a drip on the head, so I can start wiping my head back. No fun. This one finally has a fun title. Uh, this one is called Mom. No, it's called Can I Stop Social Distancing Yet, Mom? Can I Stop Social Distancing Yet, Mom? Uh, this was uh, the end of November, beginning of December, when I got my brand new Sony A6000 mirrorless camera, and I took it out to do some shooting at Toto Santos. Plaza right here in Concord, which is sort of our central town square. Uh, and it, uh, uh, this lady was out there walking with her dog. Uh, and the dog obviously thought she was not getting quite enough attention out of this. Uh, it was well before social distancing was in place, but his eager look just made me think about it. Uh, distressed, many of us are, myself included, uh, about the separation of uh, social distancing. So, again, social distancing, uh, it's called, Can I Stop Social Distancing Yet, Mom? You can find it on ronalcottphotography.com. Uh, normally, if these were fine art prints, I would not have them out in the rain. I won't ever have here stuff out in the rain. Uh, these are simple proof prints that I did on my home printer with just staples photo paper. So if they get ruined, it doesn't mean anything. Don't worry about it. I don't advocate doing art shows in the rain. No, not good for paper. But it's actually quite nice out here. I'm surprised at how warm it is this morning. I thought it would be cooler. But I'm pretty comfortable here this day. All right, this one is called La Lorna Lodge, also called Big Trees Hotel, aka Big Trees Hotel. Uh, taken uh, in La Lorna, California, which is inside of uh, Yosemite National Park. 
I went up there with a very close friend for the weekend for my birthday. Uh, my wish for my birthday was to have a brunch on Sunday morning at the Hawaii Hotel, which is actually down on the floor. The Verona is up on top of the end of the Yosemite Valley. And it's a great place to stay if you're trying to access Glacier Point uh, and some other places out there. And this is also really nice to if you're trying to get to the ski area. Uh, beautiful, beautiful old country. Huge coaches, been there forever. Uh, great little room. Uh, had just a marvelous time that weekend. Exploring, taking pictures. Uh, interestingly enough, that particular picture, there goes one right down my back. That particular picture was taken with my iPhone. I was just out uh, seeing if I could find a morning paper, uh, Sunday paper. Uh, my friend and I like to sit around and read the Sunday paper or something. Or something. Growing up, uh, it's something we do together now, but we can. But we can't right now. So those are my five pieces. Those five pieces will all be in the gallery by five o'clock tonight. And uh, hopefully you will find them there. Hopefully you will find this video once it gets posted on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, uh, all of those things. Uh, it will be on my stories, both in Instagram and on Facebook. And it will be everywhere that I can put it. If you enjoyed this, let me know. If you didn't enjoy it, too bad. I'll probably do it again a few times just to talk about what's going on with me. They may or may not be this long. They may or may not have five images every week. Uh, depending on how fast I process things. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you are holding up well and everyone that you know and love is staying safe and healthy during this time. Oh, no, there goes one on my computer. There goes one on my face. Uh, so, I guess I need to shut down. But in the meantime, be safe, be healthy, uh, make sure you're getting your information from good sources, don't act on rumor, uh, support my COVID-19 relief, uh, check out the Williams Limited Virtual Festival, check out my monthly giveaway, uh, check out my website, uh, and uh, have a great day. And we end.